In the early 20th century, Denmark was gripped by a chilling series of crimes committed by one woman. Her name was Dagmar Johan Amelie Overby, but she would go down in history as the angel maker. Born in April 1887, Dagmar Overby's life took a sinister turn as she embarked on a murderous spree that would shock the nation. In 1921, she was sentenced to death, later commuted to life imprisonment for the murder of nine innocent children. Overby's victims were a mix of adoptive children and her own child, whom she had given birth to out of wedlock. Her killing spree spanned from 1916 to 1920, during which she employed different methods to carry out her heinous act. Suffocation and drowning were her chosen means of ending these young lives. Overby preyed on vulnerable individuals through newspaper advertisements. Desperate mothers seeking to give their children up for adoption unknowingly fell into her trap. Responding to these ads or even placing her own, Overby manipulated the situation to gain access to innocent lives. Once she had taken the children into her care, Overby would snuff out their lives, hiding the evidence in various ways. Some bodies were buried, others burned in the stove, and some were concealed in sinister locations like attics and even cemetery. The shocking nature of Dagmar Overby's crimes sparked a public outcry and prompted legislative changes. In 1923, a law was enacted to place children born out of wedlock under public supervision, aiming to prevent similar tragedies from occurring again. The following year, the Danish parliament established a law on population, registers to ensure all children were registered. As we remember the victims of the angel maker and the dark chapter in Danish history she represents, let us also honor their memory and reflect on the importance of protecting the most vulnerable among us. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the haunting story of Dagmar Johan Amali Overby. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more chilling true crime stories.